Yeah. We don't give a fuck about money. Loyalty is everything. Integrity is everything. Lies. It's not about integrity. You brought a white supremacist on your podcast and he was explaining why he don't like black people or he think black people are stupid. It's not about integrity. It's about lining your pockets. If it was about integrity, you would not bring women onto your podcast and let them promote their OnlyFans. If you're trying to promote men, mental health, if you're trying to promote male progression, it was never about integrity with you. It's about milking men as much as you can. Warning. Dave's content is not for the weak. Viewer discretion is advised. Today we're going to be talking about the Fresh and Fit podcast and the whatever podcast beef. So if you don't know, the whatever podcast is basically the Walmart version of Fresh and Fit. So isn't that interesting? Male oppression was never taught in school. Female's oppression was. So who's really oppressed then? Oh my God, Brian. If, if men's grievances throughout history are overlooked, Who's the real one that's pressed? They copied their whole flow, style, and even the way they designed their show. They even kick women out the same way. Because I've, I've chosen to redirect the, con the conversation. You can either accept that or you can leave. Your choice. Yeah, for people out there who like are listening to this, get out. I'm, I'm literally about to Get out, get out. Yeah, I'm out. Get out. I'm out. And you got to say get out to me, but like... Peace out. They're not allowed to I'm be ignorant right. for stating facts. That is ignorance to sit here and want to prove a point in a room and make sure that everybody in that room knows that you were right and the next person was wrong. That's ignorance. That's what I'm no, saying. Like, it's not ignorance right. because you guys have come. No, 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 no. It is. No. It is. Because you guys came it on the is. platform. It is. You diluted. It the, is. Are you going to keep doing that? It is. You're going to keep being disrespectful. It is. All right, get the fuck out. No problem. Real talk. Get out. All right, go ahead. Appreciate it. Get out. So recently, a fan called in the Fresh and Fit show and asked Myron and said, hey, why don't you guys collab with the whatever podcast? You guys basically talk about the same thing. Why not collab and give the fans a big show? Cause that would be huge. You guys talk about the same thing. You guys do the same stuff. So come together and give us one of the biggest show of the year. Why haven't you guys collab with them yet? And Myron response to that was, well, I don't want to collab with them because I feel like they doing it for the money. They don't really care about the men. They only see dollar signs and we don't associate ourselves with those type of people. And I thought it was pretty interesting. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna show you guys what Myron said. Then I'm gonna show you guys what the whatever podcast says. Since you guys like beef so much, might as well talk about it. I don't understand why you wouldn't necessarily take a Machiavellian approach. Just feed off of them and go ahead and grow with them when none of these guys say anything negative about you when they mention you. Let, let's go ahead. Let's just go ahead because I want to make sure we address this appropriately. Who are you talking about specifically? Yeah, go exactly. ahead. Well, go ahead. Who in detail? Who are you talking about specifically? It's in whatever podcast. I knew he was going to say that. Yeah. Okay. Number one. And now, as far as whatever goes, the reason why we don't work with them is because I'm not going to align myself with someone that isn't a part of the red pill space for real i'm gonna just call it a million it's money he's he's here for money bro yeah. let's just call it all the way a thousand he's here to make a buck which is fine i'm never gonna knock someone for being a capitalist but he's not really in this space to help men from what i can see if you're out here selling pocket pussies and you know having you know long ass podcasts and, you know dry out clips etc i understand the business strategy but we don't align with that because you guys have asked us a million times so i want to address this once and for all i think it's a little disingenuous to say they only do it for the money and you don't want to align yourself with them because some could argue that you do the same thing because you're trying to teach guys to not be simps you're trying to teach guys to level up and be a man quote unquote but at the same time you're bringing on only fans women you're bringing on porn stars on to your show to talk shit about them but at the same time the only fan girl and the porn stars that has the only fans their only fans skyrocket after coming on your show so that's the exchange you the girls come on your show to get exposure and grow their only fans and you get to make content out of them so do you really care about the men if you're exposing them to these type of girls or are you doing it for money i think you're doing it for money so i wouldn't really jump in and say the whatever podcast is doing it for money but you're not i look at it the same way you guys are using your simp fans to grow girls only fans while you make content out of the girls so it's like a circle that's just how i look at it whatever we don't align in our belief system that's not to knock him or who he is or how we he runs his the business best, by the way. we actually wish him the best there you go but he doesn't he, he doesn't have the same values as us and i personally think he's in it for the money and that's not why we're in it we're in it for completely different reasons there you go. There's your answer. We don't have an issue with growing with other people or helping other people at all. And y'all guys have seen it where we bring guys on 
right? That don't necessarily, I'll keep it a thousand. They don't, it might not benefit us to bring us on, but we grew, we started with them, we end with them. Yeah, from okay? the beginning. And matter of fact, keep it a thousand with y'all, we'll probably get more benefit from collabing with a Pearl or whatever than bringing some of the guys on the show. Yeah. We don't give a fuck about money. Loyalty is everything. Integrity is everything. Lies. It's not about integrity. You brought a white supremacist on your podcast, and he was explaining why he don't like black people or he think black people are stupid. It's not about integrity. It's about lining your pockets. It's about saying the most outlandish shit to create income. This was never about integrity. Because if you have integrity, you would respect yourself enough to not bring those outlandish people on your podcast. If it was about integrity, you would not bring women onto your podcast and let them promote their OnlyFans. If you're trying to promote men, mental health, if you're trying to promote male progression, it was never about integrity with you. It's about milking men as much as you can. I don't have to benefit from a collab for me to do it if it's with people that I rock with. I'd rather do it with someone that I rock with where I might not get benefit and they get benefit versus doing it with someone where I get benefit, but I don't align with that individual. So that was my main reason for not collabing with the Whatever Podcast. Now, this is the uh, Whatever Podcast, the host Brian response to Fresh and Fit, basically coming after them and telling them they're not doing it for the men. They're just doing it to align their pockets. There's there's this complaint that, oh, well, that the podcast is a ripoff or a copy. My response to that would be, first off, nobody has an intellectual property right to a live dating podcast. So there's certainly no copyright infringement or intellectual property infringement. Nobody, you cannot trademark an idea in the same way that, for example, you're, there's allowed to be more than one rapper. There's allowed, you're allowed to, there's allowed to be more than one horror film. There's, you're allowed to have more than one drama. You know, there, there's a lot of similarities. I, what I would say is they are not the first to do a podcast. They're not the first to do a live podcast. They're not the first to do a dating podcast. They're not the first to do a dating roundtable. Uh, they're not the first to talk about these things. I would argue that um, Tim Likas, Patrice O'Neill, and a couple other pe people have been talking about this for a long time, dating all the way back to the 90s, early 2000s, Tom Likas. Uh, when it comes to dating shows, you have Love Line with Adam Corolla and Dr. Drew dating all the way back to the 90s. I've seen Oprah episodes where they assembled a panel of men and women and talked about dating. I've heard about who should pay on first dates. There's old retro video you can pull up of Oprah actually talking to Warren Farrell, who's a men's rights advocate, about who should pay for first dates. These conversations have been going on for a very long time before some of these people were even born. Yes, those conversations has been going on for a long time. A lot of people have talked about who should pay on a first date. These conversation with men in a room and women in a room and they discuss certain type of conversation and promote it to the fans, that exists. That happened before. But the way Fresh and Fit packaged their content and put it out to the fans is unique. And you took that uniqueness and made it your own. So you can argue all these little intricate details of what people have done before Fresh and Fit. But at the same time, you have to admit that you stole the uniqueness out of their podcast and made it your own. You have to admit that. You didn't come up with anything. Them having the round table and having a whole bunch of girls around and bringing special guests on, that's their uniqueness. The whole setup is their uniqueness. They created that. They started it. And I'll even go a step further and say, if there was no fresh and fit, your content wouldn't exist. So stop playing the fucking games. We've obviously gathered to some degree inspiration from their show. If they don't want to collaborate, that's fine. I could also make very compelling arguments of these accusations that, that we're just in it for the money. I'm prepared to show that in a lot of ways, you guys have monetized your audience to a far greater degree than I have when it comes to you know, our, again, I don't have an issue with the way they're monetizing. I don't have an issue, but don't make criticisms of me when it comes to the way I'm monetizing this cope about he's just in it for the money. I mean, pull up Walter Weeks. Let's talk about the money. It's all about the money, right? Uh, click that one with the G wagon. Life is too short to drive born cars. Okay, X out of that. Is that a Lamborghini? Cool, next, go down. There's another Lamborghini. There's another Lamborghini. So basically right now he's showcasing Fresh Prince CEO. I think his name is Walter, but basically he's showing up his Instagram and showing the lavish style he's living. And I get it, but I don't think you should look at someone's lifestyle and immediately acclimate it into, yeah, you're just using your fans because the way you're living. I don't necessarily believe in that. I honestly believe you can still show off or show off your jewelry, show off your money and still be able to help people. I don't think that's the proper way to show proof 
that someone is using their audience. I don't believe in that. Just because God came to the earth with a donkey, that doesn't mean I have to. That doesn't mean Obama have to. That doesn't mean any influencer have to. Like I can help you and still enjoy the lifestyle that I want to live. So I think um, Brian right now is being a little disingenuous. There's you on a private jet. Scroll down. That's your three cars. God's plan, blessed and highly favored. Okay. My life is a movie. It should be on film. Flexing with a hundred K. That shit sounds silly. Two Lambos at the same time. That shit sound litty. Now, bear in mind when Myron was saying that I'm in it for the money, Fresh was shaking his head like in disapproval that I'm just in it for the money. I don't know. Your lifestyle is rather superficial, but um, pull it back up. Money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you Lamborghini. I think that's the extent of what I need to show. You didn't show anything. You just showed that a man is living a, a proper lifestyle. Now, I'm not trying to defend Fresh and Fit, but you didn't prove that they are using their audience. All you did was show Fresh's Instagram and that he live a lavish lifestyle. You didn't showcase anything. What did you show? They blamed you of doing this for the money. And in your response, you went on their Instagram and showcased that they're living an expensive lifestyle. Really? That's your response? These people make me sick. These accusations that I'm in it for the money... Meanwhile, you are sitting across from someone who, at least to me, appears to very much be in it for the money, given the lifestyle that he is trying to sell. He has multiple exotic cars, bling, jewelry, etc. I think you ought to look, Myron, you ought to look internally at the people that you have around you before criticizing me for allegedly being in it just for the money. That's all I'll have to say about that. That was Brian's response. It was pretty much a weak response, if you ask me. But in this video, I'm going to show you how Brian monetized his podcast because he didn't bring that up. So come to find out, Brian charges $9,500 for men to come on his podcast. But the women are free as long as you're pretty. If you're trying to help men, why would you charge them $9,500 to be on your show? But the women are free. These guys make me sick. Now I know Fresh and Fit sell courses like that too. They sell courses like for like $5,000, which is I think is a scam also like if you want to help someone i don't think the price should be the price of a car if you genuinely want to help someone i honestly think it should be free to be honest with you but all these guys are grifters what can you expect because these guys actually did see they actually charge men i would say like men that are actually not high status and shit like that about nine thousand five hundred dollars just to be on the show while all the other only fans girls and all the models they basically wait for free. Shit, what the that basically tells wait, something is that true oh i'm so oh yeah i'm so serious because there was a there was a <laughs> tiktok on fuck? a man that actually did look into that how they're the only fans girls they actually hit them up whatever they hit them up obviously for networking but as far as the average man like i actually did try i get a text message saying that they do not uh accept men and if you do actually want to be on the show or support it you would have to pay a fine or a fee i should say guest fee of at least a minimum of ninety five hundred dollars oh, while fuck. all these other girls basically go on the show Oh, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically the saga of Fresh and Fit and the whatever podcast. Me, personally, the way I look at it, I think both of those guys are assholes. The Fresh and Fit podcast and the whatever podcast. I think they're both doing it for money and they're just pointing fingers out at each other and saying, yeah, you're not doing it for the men. You just want it for the money. I think there's enough blame to go around. Whatever podcast is using their male audience for money and Fresh and Fit is using their male audience for money. Granted, I think Fresh and Fit does bring some type of value on their podcast for men, but at the same time, I think they mostly doing it for money because of the $5,000 courses they charge and the fact that they bring on OnlyFans women to promote their stuff and the simp men that sees the OnlyFans girls on their show subscribe to their OnlyFans for like 50 bucks a month or 40 bucks a month. So I think everybody, whatever podcast and Fresh and Fit are both using men so my advice to every man out there is to be careful of the influencers because most of these motherfuckers are fake as fuck. They don't have a heart. They will take your last 20 bucks out of your bank account if you let them. It's all about money. It's not about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They're going to fuck about your bills. They don't give a fuck about your problems. Because at the end of the day, if they can't monetize off you, they wouldn't be making this type of content. You're a walking dollar sign to them. So yeah, as I said, be careful if you're a man out there. Take all these content with a grain of salt. Don't spend no money on these type of guys because they don't give a fuck about you. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. I'm out. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe and get me there. Thank you.